Welcome to the Saint of the Day podcast, a service of Good Catholic and the Catholic Company. Join us each day as we share the story of a unique saint in three minutes or less. Today's saint is St. Lawrence of Brindisi. Arguably one of the least known doctors of the church, Lawrence is no less remarkable than the rest. He was born in Brindisi, Kingdom of Naples, to a family of merchants. The conventionals of Brindisi were entrusted with his education. He was 12 when his father died and continued his education at St. Mark's College in Venice under the supervision of one of his uncles. He joined the Capuchins in Verona as Brother Lawrence and received further instruction from the University of Padua. An accomplished linguist, in addition to his native Italian, Lawrence could read and speak Latin, Hebrew, Greek, German, Bohemian, Spanish, and French, all fluently. Lawrence was ordained a priest at the age of 23. At the age of 31, he was elected superior of the Capuchin Franciscan Providence of Tuscany. Pope Clement VIII assigned him the task of preaching to the Jews in the city. His knowledge of the Hebrew language was of great help in this regard. Beginning in 1599, Lawrence established Capuchin monasteries in modern Germany and Austria, furthering the Counter-Reformation and bringing many Protestants back to the Catholic faith. He also founded friaries in Vienna, Prague, and Graz. In 1602, he was elected Vicar General of the Capuchin Friars, at the time the highest office in the order. He was elected again in 1605, but refused the office. Until his death, he was the best advisor of his successors. He entered the service of the Holy See, becoming papal nuncio to Bavaria. After serving as nuncio to Spain, he retired to a monastery in 1618. He was recalled as a special envoy to the King of Spain regarding the actions of the Viceroy of Naples in 1619. And after finishing his mission, died on his 60th birthday in Lisbon. He was entombed at the Poor Clares Convent of the Annunciation in Spain. I invite you today to spend some time reflecting on the many gifts that God has given you. St. Lawrence of Brindisi, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in. This is a Good Catholic Podcast. If you like what you heard, check us out at goodcatholic.com and make sure to subscribe.